Extent of the contiguous mainland of Europe, continental Europe The European continent's eastern half in Russia, as bounded by the Caucasus Mountains to the south, and which extends as far as the Ural Mountains Europa Regina map. Excluding the greater part of Fenescandia, but including Great Britain and Ireland, Bulgaria, Scythia, Moscovia and Tartaria, Sicily is classed by Europe in the form of a globus cruciger. Continental Europe or mainland Europe is the contiguous continent of Europe, excluding its surrounding islands. It can also be referred to ambiguously as the European continent, dash which can conversely mean the whole of Europe, and, by some, simply as the continent. The old notion of Europe as a cultural term was centered on core Europe, the continental territory of the historical Carolingian Empire. Corresponding to modern France, Italy, German-speaking Europe and the Benelux states. This historical core of Carolingian Europe was consciously invoked in the 1950s as the historical ethnocultural basis for the prospective European integration. Extent of Carolingian Europe The core Europe of the inner six signatories of the Treaty of Paris. The most common definition of mainland Europe excludes these continental islands, the Greek islands, Cyprus, Malta, Sicily, Sardinia, Corsica, the Balearic Islands, Great Britain and Ireland and surrounding islands. Novaea Zimelia and the Nordic Archipelago, as well as nearby oceanic islands, including the Canary Islands, Madeira, the Azores, Iceland, the Faroe Islands, and Svalbard. The Scandinavian Peninsula is sometimes also excluded, as even though it is technically part of mainland Europe, the de facto connections to the rest of the continent are across the Baltic Sea or North Sea. In both Great Britain and Ireland, the continent is widely and generally used to refer to the mainland of Europe. An amusing British newspaper headline supposedly once read, Fog in Channel, Continent Cut Off. It has also been claimed that this was a regular weather forecast in Britain in the 1930s. In addition, the word Europe itself is also regularly used to mean Europe excluding the islands of Great Britain, Iceland and Ireland. The term mainland Europe is also sometimes used. Usage may reflect political or cultural allegiances. Pro-European UK citizens are much less likely to use Europe in ways that exclude the UK and Ireland. Derivatively, the adjective continental refers to the social practices or fashion of continental Europe. Examples include breakfast, topless sunbathing and, historically, long-range driving often known as grand touring. Differences include electrical plugs, time zones for the most part, the use of left-hand traffic, and for the United Kingdom, currency and the Continued use of certain imperial units alongside the metric units which have long since displaced customary units in continental Europe. Britain is physically connected to continental Europe through the undersea channel tunnel, which accommodates both the Getlink and Eurostar services. These services were established to transport passengers and vehicles through the tunnel on a 24-7 basis between England and continental Europe, while still maintaining passport and immigration control measures on both sides of the tunnel. This route is popular with refugees and migrants seeking to enter the UK. Map of the Scandi Islands by Nicholas Germanus for a 1467 publication of Cosmographia Claudi Ptolemae Alexandrini. Especially in Germanic studies, continental refers to the European continent excluding the Scandinavian peninsula, Britain, Ireland, and Iceland. The reason for this is that although the Scandinavian peninsula is attached to continental Europe, and accessible via a land route along the 66th parallel north, it is usually reached by sea. Continentin is a vernacular Swedish expression that refers to an area excluding Sweden, Norway, and Finland but including Denmark and the rest of continental Europe. In Norway, similarly, one speaks about continente as a separate entity. In Denmark, Jutland is referred to as the mainland and thereby a part of continental Europe. The Scandinavian peninsula is now connected to the Danish mainland by several bridges and tunnels. The continent may sometimes refer to the continental part of Italy, the continental part of Spain, the continental part of France, the continental part of Portugal, or the continental part of Greece. The term is used from the perspective of the island residents of each country to describe the continental portion of their country or the continent as a whole. Continental France is also known as Lexagon, the hexagon, referring to its approximate shape on a map. Continental Spain is referred to as Peninsular Spain. Thanks for watching.